I'm on my way to my first psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner job. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Another vlog of me getting ready to go and take a nurse practitioner contract. So the one that I told y'all about, that one, no. But I got another one and I got to get ready to go. So I'm kind of tying up some loose ends while I'm here at home because when I get up there, I got to find my way because I'm my contract is going to be, you know, for a while up there. So every time you get a contract, like, and you go to a new place, you have to find your stuff, you know, like where you going to get your nails done at, all that type of stuff, because you got to keep up with the maintenance, you know, while you're out of town. So I just came from getting my wax. But that's not going to happen out of town. When I come home, I'm going to get that done. But you know that every two weeks we're getting your nails and stuff done. You got to, you know, find you a spot out of town. So, yeah. I am tying up loose ends. I have few more things to do. My daughter's open house is tonight for school, so I gotta go do that. And um, what else I gotta do? I'm going to pick up my wigs because, now I'm typically not a wig girl, but I do have some wigs that, you know, for emergency purposes only, right? Because I like to wear my natural hair. But those knotless plaits that I just had, they brought my hair out real bad, you know? Um, if I can remember when I'm editing my video, I'll show you a before and after. But they took my hair out real bad. So now I'm in this phase of like, I don't want no plaits because protective styles aren't really that protective. Like you lose so much hair when you take your plaits out. But then this lady told me, it's like, when you have natural hair, you can't really get the small plaits. You have to get medium and large. So I always get small because I didn't know that. But nevertheless, my plan is now to grow my hair back, get it as thick and pretty as it was, is to wear wigs and get my hair maintenance, you know, every two weeks, which I got to find somebody in the new place that I'm going to do that. So you wash it, you know, treat it, you know, clip your ends, whatever needs to be done. I, it needs to be maintained, moisturized, everything in the midst of that time. And then boom, I put my wig on and I keep it moving. So that's my plan for like the next year. Let's see how it work out without me trying to get some plaits or something because that's what I typically do because I work out a lot. And I'm a sweater. A lot of people don't sweat, but I sweat. So, you know, when you be having your natural hair out or whatever, I can't wash my hair every day, you know. that My hair texture ain't set up like that. So... I'm always like, let me go get some plaits. And that's like my go-to fix it all. But with the with my hair braided down for the wig or whatever, I think I can achieve my goals. So let's try that. That's what we gonna do. See how my hair grow back. So today is what, September something, uh, September, what is today? September 21st. So let's see how my hair grow you know, from this time frame until whenever. So I'll keep y'all posted and updated on that. So yeah, like as you preparing to go take a contract out of state, this whether you're a nurse or a nurse practitioner, there's just some loose ends that you have to tie up before you go because sometimes you don't get back home, you know, as often or sometimes, you know, instead of me coming home, I fly my daughter to me, whatever. But it's stuff at home that sometimes you just gotta be home to do. And so that's what I'm doing. And yeah, so I'm going to pick up my wigs and open house later, so yeah. So I went and picked up my wigs and I said to myself, let me call and see if I can get a massage 
schedule. I had one last week, but I need another one. So I'm like, let me see if I can get me a massage in before I leave. And I, they had a spot, so I'm here waiting to go in because I'm a little bit early. Y'all know I don't play by my self-care as you shouldn't either because if you don't take care of these bodies, what you put in it, you know, what you do to it, when you get older, age is not easy on you, especially when you already ain't taking care of yourself. So that's why, you know, I always try to talk about self-care. I always get my massages. Just be intentional about your self-care because it catches up with you when you don't. And we like to say that we don't have time. But in time, you're going to wish that you utilize this time better taking care of you. And I'm not speaking, I'm speaking from experience of being a nurse for, I don't know, 13, 14 years. I've seen it all. So yeah, take care of you. Massage time. Amen. calculus so I'm back from open house and it's always good to go pop in on these little rug rats you know see what they doing versus what they telling you they doing so she got like a good report so far but report cards haven't been out so i'm about to take it in for today i have a class to take tomorrow that i um i paid to take because i'm trying to get my trauma certification to be a trauma specialist because i feel like a lot of people need help with trauma so that they can move forward with their lives, addressing the trauma. So I want to be a trauma. That's not the only specialty I want to do, but that's the one that I'm working on currently. To be a mental health trauma expert. So I have a two-day course that I'm taking tomorrow. So yeah, I'm getting ready to take a shower and get ready for school tomorrow. So... I'm on my way to my first psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner job. I am on my at my layover in Philly. And I think I leave in like the flight starts boarding in like 30 minutes. The flight from Miami was a bit delayed. I'm excited though. New beginnings, a new journey. Oh yeah, I need to get on this shuttle. Shuttle to gate F. Where? I feel like I'm in Philly. I need to get a cheesesteak. All the traveling I did, I've actually never been to Philly. And all the traveling that I have done, I have never had a layover in Philly. I actually like this little airport. American, of course. So, yeah. I'll, you know, where I'm going at is supposed to be cold. I think it's like 39. 
It's like, how is it 39 degrees in September? So yeah. I decided not to catch the train and walk since I've never been to this airport before. And my plane got off in B and um, my flight leaves from F. So that just lets you know how far, how far I'm walking. But yeah, I need to explore the airport. So when I have layovers, I know where I need to go at to get food or what terminals have the best foods. Almost there. This was a walk. Jeez. So we taking this little baby plane. It's like that size over there, real small. It's a small plane. I don't think I've been on a plane this small before. So this is the room that I will be staying in. This is the living room with the little TV and fireplace. I have a full kitchen as well. And I'm going around to the vanity area. And there's the bathroom. And this is the room that I'll be sleeping in. So I am here and i got the rental car that the company is paying for i checked into the room and it's raining and it gets cold at night well i don't for these people up here it's not cold but for me it's cold like 45 and so i got a nice suite that i am going to make home but i'm gonna do that this weekend because i don't feel like going shopping i'm tired i've been traveling all day so only thing i'm going to do right now is go to walmart and get some cleaning supplies to clean the tub and you know the kitchen just clean everything up before i start using it and Sorry, y'all got to look at me at this angle. I forgot my little car thing at home. So I got to get another one. But this little place, you know, is very different from what I'm used to. Because I'm a city girl. And they ain't even giving city vibes. Um, <clears throat> but lots of trees. And I love trees, as you all know. And I love that these trees, some of them have color on it. So I'm looking at some fall, which we don't get in Miami. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go to Walmart right now and get the cleaning supplies. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm going to sleep because I'm tired. I am tired. But the company set me up real nice, you know, nice little rental car. The car ain't no big deal, but the room, I like, I'm loving the room. It got a fireplace there. They kept it cute for your girl. If any psych MPs follow me, this company actually, they hiring. They looking for some more help. But, yeah. 
Okay, it's morning. I'm up. I'm getting ready to go to work. I wanted to do just like a, you know, get ready with me for my first day, but that didn't happen. So I need to get that part together. But today is like casual wear. So I'm dressed. I'm about to get out the house. It's not far from the hotel. And yeah, I'll just give y'all a little taste, but it's like millennial business casual, you know. So I just put this on, you know, it's orientation. I'm going to be sitting down all day. I just threw this blazer on it to kind of make it look a little bit more fashionable and professional, which I don't think these people up here care because yesterday when I was out, it's giving very uh, overalls and suspenders. Look at those trees. It's fall. Ow. What is up? Today is Saturday. I've been on a contract for a week now and I'm off on weekends and holidays. So today I am getting ready to head outside to do some touring of the city. They, I heard they got a state fair going on. So I'm gonna go to their little state fair and eat and be cold outside because it's i mean for me from coming from miami it's cold where i'm at it's like 50 outside but it doesn't actually feel like a 50 in miami would feel but it's it's cold but not like where you don't want to go outside cold so i'm going to the state fair and <sighs> the first week was interesting I'm working in a prison. So the first part of getting used to, the first thing I had to get used to was not having my phone in a prison, which is, I mean, it's it, it's not an issue, but it's some, you know, a, it's an adjustment that I have to get used to. So you basically have no contact with the outside world until you come out of the prison. I am also, like, I have my daughter. She has my email address, but it's, you know, it's through the prison. So you can't have, like, a whole bunch of people emailing you or whatever because it's their affiliate email address they gave me. So, but she has it. Another thing I had to get used to was those, like, gates closing behind me. It's like, when you walk through the gate, it's like, boom. Boom. Like, you hear this loud gate closing behind you. Obviously, it's the prison gates. They, they're they strong. They're big. They're heavy. They're thick. And the first day I walked through there, and it was like, boom. I was like, yikes. And then you walk in through this area with all these barbed wires over the fence, and it was like a reality check for me. Like, damn. Like, I'm working in a prison, for real. So, that was kind of like day one. The first couple days was orientation, so I only had like two actual days at the prison. Um, I'm working with another nurse practitioner, and nurse practitioners um, here are independent. She's super, super smart, like really, really smart. So I feel like this being my first actual psych MP job is going to be a good learning experience from her. She actually is staff. She's like the only staff person at the prison. And then everybody else is like locums tenums, which is the travel nurse practitioners for like nurse practitioners, physician assistants, doctors or whatever. They all work for like locums tenums, which is the equivalent to travel agencies for like travel nursing. But they just deal, they don't deal with RNs specifically. The other psychiatrist who's there, she's leaving. She left actually yesterday and she'll be back in February, but she's taking a couple months off, which is the beauty of the travel nurse EMP doctor life. You could take time off when you want. So now it's just me and her, and I'm a new grad, and there's a lot of patients on that floor. I'm gonna be getting like down and dirty real quickly, but I ain't, I ain't never scared, you know? Like, I ain't scared, so let's do it. Let's get it done. Like, this is what I, 
been wanting. That's what I went to school for. Like, this is my passion. This is my purpose. So let's get it, you know? Let's get it. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'll keep y'all updated on how that goes. I got a lot more that I want to say about it, but I'll just say it like in a separate video of just kind of like talking about working in a prison in itself and some kind of other things that I kind of went through before I got to the prison. That might be a little bit deep for y'all, but it is what it is, you know? Yeah. Your girl on her first psych MP job and contract. God in his grace and mercy gave me my first psych MP job and it's a bag, you know? So that's always nice as well. So yeah, let's see what the fair is like. So, I was in the fair. It was nice. It's very different from the fair in Miami. But the food was good. I ate so much food. I'm disgustingly uncomfortable right now. Oh, and it's, it's definitely not as cold as I thought it was going to be. Like, 60 degrees in Miami is a different kind of cold from 60 degrees where I'm at. So, for that reason... I'm a little bit um, overdressed, but I wasn't about to hold all this stuff in my hand or whatever that I had on. So I was a bit warm out there, but I ate a lot of food. I got my turkey leg to go. Ugh. I bought some little waters from the Boy Scouts. Let me take my ride back home. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna take the scenic route and enjoy the fall trees. Or if I am going to take the expressway and just get where I'm going.